tough year for our area's tourism industry. The state as well, they've lost a lot of tax revenue and businesses are hurting. But Ericetta Cost found out that not all of the businesses in our area are having trouble. Bob Provost, president of New York State Tourism Industry Association, says the pandemic has affected the industry severely. We're not allowed to have large events. We, we had no Hall of Fame induction. There was no state fair. There were no county fairs. He says while this is a loss of billions of dollars, there's a silver lining. That the roads less traveled, the less densely populated destinations are enjoying an economic benefit. That includes the Finger Lakes region. Oh. Carol and Martina at Another World Bed and Breakfast say once the state started opening up in June, people were calling and calling so, to reserve yeah. a spot. At first, it kind of hit us like a like a fire truck because people were really calling and calling and calling. Lori DeFurio owns an Airbnb in Seneca Falls. She says she is more booked than ever this year. Or not, this year is the first year that I've been more booked than any other year. Airbnb reported that on Labor Day weekend, U.S. travelers ventured more to remote areas, accounting for 30% of booked trips. That's almost a double the share compared to last year. There's a lot of people that aren't getting on airplanes and traveling like they used to. They would just jump in the car. How far can I go? Where can I go? So what is drawing people out to the Finger Lakes region especially? Is the water. It's all about the water. It's either the lakes, there's the waterfalls, the snowmobiles and wildlife. You can look out our window and see deer and turkey. In Rochester, Eric at a cost, News 8. All right, Ericetta, thank you. And the women who spoke with Ericetta, they're hoping that their success will rub off on others. It can be perhaps spread out in their communities to local restaurants and other businesses.